This is Duke University. Smartphones are everywhere. Most adults in most countries have smartphones. And along with the smartphones, they need to get a wireless subscription plan. Now, in many countries, including the US, phone companies offer a variety of individual subscription plans. And in addition, phone companies also have family subscription plans. And family subscription plans are meant for more than one individual. Why do we observe these family subscription plans in addition to the individual subscription plan? If you think about it, family subscription plans are interesting because they are allowing consumers to bundle themselves. So they are like bundling of consumers. We are familiar with bundling of products. For example, we can go to a fast food restaurant and order a burger and some fries and a drink in a combo meal. Sometimes we buy a product and another product comes in the package. These are all examples of bundling of products and we know a fair bit about them. However, bundling of consumers is relatively new and we don't know much about it. So the real questions are, how do family subscription plans, this bundling of consumers, how do they help consumers? And is it a profitable strategy for firms? With family plans, you can bring new young consumers into the market more easily. So we may have cases where parents already have an account with the phone company. And as kids grow up and are ready for mobile phones, they can be added by the parents to their own account. This way, the, there is convenience for the parents because they don't need to have another account, they don't need to have another bill, they don't need to monitor that account separately. But the way family plans add value to customers and the way they become profitable for the firms is also related to the type of pricing that we see in this market. Many consumers have what's known as a three-part pricing. One part is the monthly fee. The second part is the usage allowance that comes with the plan. Until a few years ago, the allowance was more in terms of minutes of calls and text messages. Now it is more in terms of gigabytes of data. If you use more than the allowed amount, there is an overage charge, and that is the third part of the pricing. Many of us sometimes get a rather large additional overage charge. We don't like such negative surprises, and this negative reaction is called a bill shock. According to the FCC, about 30 million consumers in the US have experienced a bill shock at least once. Smart consumers try to avoid the bill shock, often by monitoring their usage, but then monitoring itself is a hassle. So you have the hassle of monitoring, and on top of that, you have this possibility of a bill shock with this kind of three-part pricing. So how does all this fit into the family plans and how do family plans add value with this three-part pricing? Well, family plans allow members of a family to combine their allowances. And this reduces the chance that they get a bill shock. So for example, in a given month, I may use the phone more than somebody else in my family may. And if everybody's usage is not correlated, that is, everybody's usage does not go up or go down at the same time in the same way, then we can reduce the chances of bill shock by pooling our plans. So bundling of consumers allow consumers to lower their risk of overages or their risk of bill shock by sharing their plans. Bill shocks are psychological costs. They do get converted to real dollars for phone companies. Companies make more money when consumers are satisfied. Companies make less money when consumers are less satisfied. Family plans are important also for segmentation reasons. Wireless companies, much like airlines and many other companies, 
segment their markets, that is they divide their consumers in terms of the usage and in terms of the value that the customers attach to the phone service. For wireless companies, there may be a cheaper plan for a consumer who does not use the phone much. That will be like traveling by coach class in air travel. And there will be a more expensive plan for somebody who needs the phone a whole lot more. And that will be like traveling by first class in air travel. As you can imagine, consumers who choose low priced plans will have tighter allowances. They will have more bill shocks or will need to monitor their usage more. And that can make them unhappy. And this way it could undermine the segmentation scheme. Companies can improve their segmentation plan by getting low usage consumers to join other consumers through family plans. So if you have family plans in which low usage consumers join other low usage consumers, or if low usage consumers can join other high usage consumers, then the segmentation scheme can be improved by offering family plans. This makes market segmentation plans more efficient and can increase the firm's profits. In summary, family subscription plans allow consumers to bundle themselves. And this bundling of consumers can improve customer satisfaction, can reduce the probability of bell shock, and can be a profitable strategy for the firm also by improving the segmentation schemes.